What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're going to be checking out these K-Source Universal Towing Mirrors on our 2015 Ram 2500. It's going to strap onto your existing mirrors with these rubber straps, hold it on there nice and tight, you can see it's not moving much at all, and give you that extra visibility you need when you're towing. Let's check it out. Now I talked about that extra visibility. Right now you can see me in the factory mirror on our truck. If I step over here to the side, now you can see me in the towing mirror. That extra visibility is really going to help out. It eliminates those blind spots on either side of you. I mean, I've been in my car and not even towing anything, and you don't see somebody right next to you in the lane sometimes. That extra extension to the mirror really helps out when you're already kind of stressed by pulling the trailer and watching that and monitoring how much it's moving back and forth. Now you can actually see a little bit extra. helps you backing up and all that. Now, a nice feature, we're on the passenger side now. You can see how this mirror is vertical. You can go horizontal with it. You just spin it over. Now, it, since they're new, it takes a little bit to turn the mirror. That'll wear down over time. So right now, it takes a little bit just to get it turned sideways. But now, you have that extra add-on to the mirror. If you don't need it, you can just put it back up vertical and just have that little bit extra instead. So we have the rubber straps on the back. I wanna show you. They help not only grip the mirror, but hold it tight to the mirror. And by the mirror, I mean the universal towing mirror, holding it tight to the existing mirror. You can see I'm shaking the whole mirror back and forth with it. It's not loose. It moves a little bit, but that's just if I'm pulling on it pretty hard. So that's going to be good when you're going on the road. It's going to be probably about that much vibration. You can see it's not moving. That's the rubber holding it tight and kind of gripping to the back side of the mirror. The other good thing with the two straps is it doesn't cover up the blinker or a puddle light down here. I mean, it blocks a little bit, these parts here, but it's still visible and it'll still work. Sometimes you sacrifice that with the hard shell towing mirrors that'll slide over here. Sometimes they don't have the cutout and it covers that all up and you kind of lose this. Now this is a chrome backside to this mirror, but the rubber's gonna help out too if you have a painted mirror. So if it's painted the same as your truck is, you don't have to worry about a scratch or anything like that. The rubber seems pretty nice, it grips really well, and it doesn't look like it's going to do any damage. Now let's take some measurements of how big this mirror actually is. That way you have a better idea what you're adding on to your existing mirror. From side to side, looks like it's about seven and a half. And from top to bottom, about five inches. So. That's what you're working with and that's what you're adding to your existing mirror. Another thing I like on this mirror versus the other ones is it's one solid mirror. Some other ones you get, sometimes they have concave and convex mirrors, both in there with the mirror, taking up that extra space, which I'm sure it's usable if you need that extra, extra view on the side, but I always find it annoying. I just want a solid extra mirror added to my mirror. Also, it doesn't affect anything. If you want to fold in your mirrors, I got a push button one on here. You can see it folds in just fine. It goes into place. There's room between the plastic that's on the front of the mirror and the vehicle, so it doesn't even come close to making contact, so you don't have to worry about any scratches or anything coming from your towing mirror if you want to leave it on there and fold in your mirror. Another thing that I like, along with it being adjustable, along with you being able to move the mirror up, and adjust the way you want. It's on a ball joint, so if you just need that extra, push it back a little bit or tilt it any direction you might need to, you can. So it's very adjustable, and I think that's super helpful. Now, how easy is it to install? Well, let's check it out. So we're gonna match up these clips here on top and bottom with the gap around your mirror. So you kind of just set them up like that. You can see how the part that sticks out kind of goes underneath the mirror or in between the mirror and the cover, the outside line. Then, holding it in place. With one strap attached already, I wanna show you that you wanna get it lined up right and tight. So I gotta do it just a little bit. I'm gonna pull this plastic piece down a little bit more. That way there's a little more resistance. Try and pull this through a little bit, just to mark our spot. So then I'm gonna take it back off Fold this back into the other slot once you've got it adjusted correctly for your mirror and reattach the clip. And what that does is that keeps it from coming, the strap coming back through. It's now pushed between this strap 
the access is here and the mirror's here, pushes together that way, it doesn't come back out on you while you're driving down the road. I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. And it really is that easy to install. You saw it took me no time at all just to put the straps through. And once you get it done the first time and kind of get the straps right, it's gonna be even easier. You don't have to go back and readjust anything. You just attach the straps on the top and be on your way. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.